So we want to take the cross product of two vectors. This only works in R3. Right? It has to be three-dimensional vectors that we're taking the cross product of. So let's pick some vectors. Let's have, let's say, make that bold. We'll have vector x uh, is equal to, we'll say it has the components x1, x2, x2 and x3. And we'll have the other vector, let's call this vector y. Make it nice and bold. And y will be equal to um, y1, y2, it's going really slow, and y3. So there we go. We have two vectors, and we want to take the cross product of these vectors. So how we do that is we can write over here, I guess maybe I shouldn't have used x as a vector, but that's okay. We'll just put vector notation over top of it. x cross y, vector y. Now the way we do this is a little bit strange. Um, it's not quite the same as we've been doing like uh, vector addition or um, scalar multiplication or anything. It gets a little bit more confusing than that. So how we do this is we're going to get another vector um, with three components, and it's actually going to be orthogonal to both of these, but we'll see that later in the video. So to get the first term, or the first component, uh, how we do this is it is, we ignore the first component here, and we look at the second two. So we'll have x2 times y3 minus x3 times y2. y2. Now we'll just ignore the middle component here for a second because it's a little bit more confusing. But the second or the third component here, we do the same thing. We ignore the third component here from the, the original vectors, and it'll be x1 times y2, x1 times y2, minus uh, x2 times y1, x2 times y1. All right, we'll close the bracket here. And now for the middle term, it's a little bit opposite. Instead of We're going to cross out the middle row here, um, and instead of starting with uh, the top term and then going to the bottom term of the next one, we just switch the order here. So it'll actually be x3 times y1 minus x1 times y3, x1 times y3. So the, the, first, the first component and the last component we did in the same way, and the middle component we just switched the order of which component we are looking at from the original vectors. So now if we just do an example with actual values, let's say, let's say our vector x was equal to, let's put a little vector sign over it, uh, let's say it's just 1, 2, 3. Let's say vector y was equal to, let's say, uh, negative 4, 5, 6. So if we want to cross x with y, it looks like this. So we'll write it over here. So 1, 2, 3, vector x, cross vector y, vector y, which is negative 4, 5, Six, and so we are going to get. Let's see. Let's look at this. We had x two y three, so it's x two y three because we cross out the first row. So we have two times six minus x three y two. X three y two minus three times five. All right. Uh, now let's do the second row, which was backwards. Uh, this x3 times y1, which is 3 times negative 4, 3 times negative 4, minus x1, y3, x1, y3, which is 1 times 6, 1 times 6. And the last row was x1 times y2, it's 1 times 5, minus x2 times y1, which is 2 times negative 4. And we'll just simplify this a little bit. Uh, we'll get rid of all of this and we'll find that we have 12 
minus 15. We write that. The middle component will be negative 12 minus 6. And the bottom will be 5 minus negative 8. Uh, so we'll have 5 plus 8. Which is equal to the vector, let's see, 12 minus 15 is negative 3. Uh, negative 12 is negative 18. And 5 plus 8 is 13. Right, so this is the vector right here. This is x cross y. Now I mentioned before that this vector we're going to get x cross y is orthogonal to both vectors that we started with, so we're just going to test that to make sure. Um, so we'll go down here and we'll put negative 3, uh, negative 18, and 13. We want to take the dot product with each of these vectors individually, so if we take the dot product of vector x, which is 1, 2, 3, we will get uh, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 or sorry plus uh, negative 18 times 2 which is negative 36 plus uh, 13 times 3 which is 39 39 so this is also the same as just negative 3 minus 36 plus 39 which is equal to 0 so yeah these two ortho these two vectors are orthogonal and we'll just check to make sure that a cross y is also orthogonal to vector y. So we'll go down here and we'll put negative 3 again, negative 18, and 13. And we're going to take the dot product with vector y, which is negative 4, 5, and 6. So what do we get? Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12 positive 12, plus negative 18 times 5, that's negative 90, negative 90, so we can also, or we can just subtract 90 from that, and 13 times 6, that is 78, plus 78, and we'll look at this, 78 plus 12 is 90, 90 minus 90 is 0, so there you go. A cross Y is orthogonal to vector X and vector Y.